real deal. Welcome again to another exciting edition of the Powerhouse of Wrestling. The star and is here now. Thank you very much. Rich, it gives me great pleasure to introduce this next man. And you, where were you going to introduce him from? Uh, Tampa, Florida. He is not from Tampa, Florida. He is from every woman's wildest fantasy. Give it up for Quick Silver! Quick Silver making his way to ringside via the deal. To start things off on this edition of the Powerhouse of Wrestling, again, this is Eugene Donaldson, and we will be joined later by Mr. Reynolds. Quicksilver, the self-proclaimed sexiest man here in PWI. And he'll be getting things started off against another high flyer here in Pro Wrestling International, a man that they've met many times. Should be a very interesting matchup. Rich? And his opponent, from Marion, Indiana, at a weight of 178 pounds, Top Rope Troy! The high-flying youngster here of Pro Wrestling International, fan favorite, Top Rope Troy, makes his way to ringside to go up against Quicksilver in what should be a high-flying matchup. No love lost between these two individuals. We've got a great hour of action. A little bit later on the program, you'll see Jimmy Jack Hammer of Heavy Construction in one-on-one -on -one competition. Gentleman Johnny Walker to also join us this week. And in our feature match, we're not sure who it'll be, but it'll be another pairing of the first round of the Wild Pair Tag Team Tournament. As you see the deal, uh, speaking to some of his illustrious fans at ringside. You'll sit there and shut up. Oh, I'm not sure I will sit here and shut up, deal. Yeah. Quicksilver, the uh, Charles Atlas of PWI. And uh, Top Rope Troy got caught. Oh, a vicious uppercut by Quicksilver. Quicksilver, for once in his wrestling career, does have the weight advantage in this particular matchup. Top Rope Troy to the outside, and uh, referee Bill Haldem uh, needs to take a little bit more control. This uh, yeah, slams him to the hard concrete on the outside here in International Arena. And now, uh, again, the flex. I noticed Bill Haldem's not in his traditional bow tie this week. Maybe, uh, maybe the deal's got that hit somewhere. That Quicksilver uh, top rope Troy trying to, try to make a little bit of a comeback. Sunset flip, trying to get him over. Can he get him over? Oh, I think that was a close fist right to the top of the noggin. And the Quicksilver mighty proud of himself at this particular moment in this matchup. And uh, so in the deal. Oh, block, slap across, couple of shots across the side of the jaw by Top Rope Troy, opening up, whips him across. High elevation of a backdrop, and now Top Rope Troy and Quicksilver slides out of the ring, a mark of a true veteran to break up that momentum. And uh, the deal not real happy with uh, what transpired there of recent. I think that's a little bit uncalled for, but uh, that's the new Quicksilver here in PWI. And now he wants to be friends with Top Rope Troy. I think Troy's a little bit smarter than that. He's not going to fall for that ploy there that was probably uh, told to Quicksilver by the deal on the outside. Oh, Troy got caught. Oh! Now Troy uh, earning his name, going to the top rope. Quicksilver, oh, nice drop kick off the top rope, and uh, he's got Quicksilver somewhat uh, stunned at this particular moment. And now much of the fans' delight, opening up on the top of Quicksilver's noggin. Referee Bill Haldem uh, attempting to break this up, but I don't think top rope Troy paying much attention. The deal's not real happy on the outside. Nice clothesline there by Top Rope Troy. He's going to attempt to get the pinfall. I don't think he'll get him. Quicksilver kicks out. Again, welcome to the powerhouse of wrestling here with Pro Wrestling International. We'll be with you for the next 60 minutes. And uh, as stated, the deal will be joining us later on in the broadcast. There's no way I can get out of it. 
We want to thank the tremendous response we had last week at International Arena for the recent television tapings, and uh, the commissioner is working on the results of the many cards and letters and the signs that night to ban the real deal from Pro Wrestling International. Right now, top rope Troy working on that arm bar on Quicksilver. Well, Quicksilver can't seem to find Top Rope Troy. Oh, Top Rope Troy with a takedown there. One, two, will he get him? I think Bill hauled him a little bit slow there on that count. And he goes back to that arm bar. Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta take a break, but stay with us. We'll have more of this matchup after you see this. Welcome back to this exciting matchup here on the Powerhouse of Wrestling. Eugene Donaldson setting in alone for this matchup as you see the real deal at ringside with his self-proclaimed sexiest man here in PWI. With Silver as he goes up against Top Rope Troy. It's been an exciting matchup up until this point. Right, Quicksilver wants uh, the youngster to back off and uh, what has he got in his possession? He's got one of the pads to the turnbuckle. Well, not really the turnbuckle, but the, from the post to the turnbuckle and. Uh, what is he going to do with that? Now the deal has uh, lifted it off his man, and uh, Bill Haldum is looking for the object. As you can see, the camera crew doing an outstanding job there. And the uh, referee turned his back when he shouldn't have, and Quicksilver taking advantage of the international object, raking it in the eyes of one top rope Troy. And now the deal will hide the object. Uh, Bill Haldem, you want to turn around the matches over here? He's trying to get uh, some directions, I think, and uh, he needs to pay attention to what's going, in, going on inside the squared circle. Well, Troy tried to reverse that. Somewhat got the job done. Nice reverse kick there. He needs to stay on top of Quicksilver, a ring veteran of many years. Nice elbow there. Needs to stay on him. Quicksilver, this is where Quicksilver is very tricky, and uh, he attempted, Troy attempted a uh, arm drag there, but uh, Quicksilver blocked it, and now he's got him in uh, some sort of maneuver. I'm not sure what you call that. I'll have to ask the deal that later. Now he's uh, going to attempt, now we've seen Quicksilver, and oh, heard that slap over here. He's going to try to give him the superplex off the top rope. Top rope, Troy dropped what is now affectionately known as, uh, it's Quicksilver says, the Silver Plex. Thank you very much. And uh, Troy made a cardinal mistake there, and that may cost him. And Quicksilver feeling the worst for wear. Knee to the top of the head. I think the deal's after passing out pictures of himself. I'm not real sure. And again, he takes Troy to the outside. Uh, you're not going to pin the man or get him to submit. Oh, and the deal with a kick. The top rope Troy, as uh, Charles Atlas here, shows us his muscle. And uh, Troy is now chasing the deal. And in a, in a trap contest, I think the deal would lose because uh, he's carrying a little extra around the midsection there. But Quicksilver coming to the aid of his manager. Takes advantage of the situation and uh, now back on top. These two men been going at it for about... 10 or 11 minutes, great opening matchup here on the powerhouse. I don't think he'll get him. And wait a minute, Bill Holden, what kind of a count was that? A little earlier you were slow, did you just suddenly wake? What is going on with Bill Holden? You may have to check into that. Bill Holden, a little earlier, fans, I don't know whether you caught it, but I sure did. Very slow on the count, but now Quicksilver had Troy down for the count, and uh, you think he was uh, speed counting there. Reverse headlock there by Quicksilver, trying to wear the man down. I wonder if the deal's been uh, talking to Bill Hall. Bill Hall has been a referee. Oh, another vicious uppercut. Lifts top rope Troy off his feet. And I started to say, I wonder if the deal has talked to Bill Haldum and uh, has was trying to sway him. But Bill Hall has been a referee for many years. Troy tried to block that drop kick, but subsequently got caught on the side. I think the man's too far in the ropes to get the pin. Two count there, and uh, now Quicksilver telling Mr. Haldem that he needs to pay more attention, that he had the man beat. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I guess that's some sort of, well, I guess that is a, some sort of a version of a Russian. And again, Bill Hallam, I'm a little perplexed here. Bill Hallam very quick on the count. That was a version of the Russian leg sweep, I started to say. And now he's got that carotid clutch on top rope try. Bill Haldem is, uh, I don't know if he was chastising the deal or talking with the uh, PWI fans. Deal's got quite a conversation going on. And again, Quicksilver takes him to the outside. The man needs to keep him inside the squared circle. But again, the deal taking over on the outside while the referee pays no attention. And uh, Hey, deal, get me a hot dog while you're over there at the concession stand. Referee needs to be counting because Troy's on the outside. They're in the ropes. I mean, uh, there's two or three. I guess he is counting. Oh, vicious slap there to the chest. Troy attempting to uh, make a comeback here. And he, oh, he drapes him over the top rope, drops him over it. Using that ring to uh, his advantage. Now where's Quicksilver going? Is he signing an autograph out there? What, what is going on? Count him out, referee. Now he's back inside and uh, got caught by the boot of one top rope Troy. Slap across the chest. Now the now Quicksilver goes to the outside and uh, he's not real happy about taking a couple of uh, shots there across the chest. This has been a well contested matchup here, the opening match. Uh, referee needs to be counting. He's been out there, it seems like a long time to me. Uh, Troy just needs to. I guess he doesn't want to take the victory as a count out, but Quicksilver wasting a lot of time. A ring veteran would have went out there and gotten him. That shows me a little inexperience on one top rope Troy. Oh, slingshots him in. And he needs to stay on him. Hip toss there by top rope Troy. He needs to keep the momentum going in his favor. Again, he sets in that arm bar with that arm drag, trying to work the man down. And this match has went on for about 15 minutes now, and uh, both men back and forth. And that, oh, there you see, as we saw a couple of weeks ago, Quicksilver, well, it was last week, Quicksilver done this to Lightning Rod, and this time it's a chain, and the referee's going to turn around, and unfortunately, count a three count. Again, Quicksilver, and again, the offense and goes to the outside. The winner, Richard. Quicksilver! By the use of a international object here in the international arena. This time it looked like a chain. Here you see on the replay, the real deal getting the referee's attention, tossing him the object and boom, right there, Quicksilver hitting top rope Troy. Getting the three count, the winner in your opening contest, real deal's man, Quicksilver. And now let's go to PWI Live. Fans, check out these live PWI events in the Indianapolis area. Of course, it's tonight. Big television taping. More on that in a moment. It's next Wednesday night when PWI invades the south side of Indianapolis at Shooters. Big lineup headlined by Madman Pondo in the return of Ian Rotten. And next Saturday, May the 4th, big television taping of mega matches at the International Arena. See your favorite PWI stars in action. All starting times for these events, 7.30 p.m. And the first one gets underway tonight at the International Arena, located at 1056 East Vermont Street, 7.30, with a big powerhouse of wrestling television taping. Some of the matches include Big Auto Bond to go up against Billy the Kid, Bulldozer Manson, one half of heavy construction to go up against the Neanderthal, and Top Rope Troy gets his shot at the deal's trash lose again. That and many more matches tonight. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the one everyone's talking about is a match being entitled Double Jeopardy. And the reason being of the stipulations for each individual wrestler in this particular lineup. The James Boys, Lightning Rod, and Diamond Dan to go up against Quicksilver, Trash, Lose Again, Auto Bond, and a surprise partner. Remember, there's different stipulations for each wrestler if they happen to lose. We don't have time to list them now, but to hear what they are, call the PWI Info Line at 335-HOT. 
and hear what happens when one of these individuals lose in the double jeopardy matchup. We'll give you one stipulation. If Quicksilver loses in this matchup, he must wear a dress at International Arena. Tickets for the event, $6 for adults, $4 for ages 4 through 12, and 3 and under admitted free. Doors opening at 6.30 tonight, April the 27th, 7.30 at the International Arena, 1056 East Vermont Street. Big television taping of the powerhouse of wrestling. Don't miss out tonight. into the ring at this time from Indianapolis, Indiana, at a weight of 256 pounds, Jimmy Jack Hammer! One half of heavy construction making his way into the ringside area, Jimmy Jack Hammer, as he'll be going up against a uh, high flyer here in one-on-one -on -one competition, and I am joined by the deal. How about that opening match, dummy? That was a great opening match, wasn't it? You couldn't ask for much better. Boy, what a treat for all these uh, idiots at ringside. They got to see the deal. You could make it through a medal. And his opponent, Kelly from Cape Canaveral, Florida, at a weight of 147 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, Apollo! Once again, we're going to have Apollo out here in one-on-one -on -one competition, and deal last week, uh, he didn't fare so well. Well, he was out here with that nutcase. What has he got in his, let's go deal. <laughs> what you do, sign him an autograph? Oh. Uh, Is that what that said? I'd have to sign, I just have to sign it phonetically for this guy to be able to read it. I don't oh. know what has gotten into Apollo here in recent weeks here on but, uh, the house. But what about, uh, what about the... Uh, that opening match. Huh? The only thing I want to know about that opening match is what has gotten into Bill Haldem. You were out there. Why was he counting so slow when Bill. Top Rope Troy had the pinfall, and then all of a sudden Quicksilver acts like he's gotten a boost? Bill Haldem, who's that? Uh, that's yeah. the referee. Oh, I, I don't know anything about uh, Bill Haldem. Wait a minute. You don't have anything to say about Bill Haldem? Oh, Bill Haldem! I thought you were talking about Bill, never mind. Uh, I thought you were talking about somebody else. Yeah, Bill Halter. He's, he, what do you mean? He's, a, he's an honest official, honest Bill. That's what we call him. Uh, who, that, we? That's what everybody calls him. That's what all the fans call him. Well, we may have to keep an eye on this situation. That's what that old ugly hag out at ringside the with deal. the pink says. And the deal not, that's what those ugly fans now, what in the third row What has gotten says? into Apollo? Apollo, uh, last week, come out here. He'd been cheered, and he come out here against Dallas James, and Dallas went to shake hands, and he... Uh, strutted and acted like uh, I don't I'm not really sure what he acted like but he still. acted like a youth ball you know why he acted like a youth ball you want to know why he acted like a youth ball we're all waiting well because he is a goof ball that's why well he's in there with another ring veteran uh, Jimmy another. Jack Hammer and another man that's not going to take any foolishness off of him well no Jimmy Jack Hammer's all business in there and he should not turn his back to a gentleman uh, if I may use that term of one Jimmy Jack Hammer's status. Well, I wouldn't turn my back on Jimmy Jack Hammer. I mean, if he weren't my buddy. Of course, you know uh, that. It's, it's kind of strange to see Jimmy Jack Hammer out here, even though it is a one-on-one -on -one matchup, singles competition without Bulldozer Manson. But we understand uh, Bulldozer Manson a little worse for wear after the matchup with the James boys a couple of weeks ago. And then he wrestled uh, the next week and aggravated that injury some more. So he may be gone for a uh, a couple of three weeks. Oh, that's wishful thinking. Bulldozer Manson will be back soon. You know, he's we, just, you want to make it out like these James boys are so tough. They're nothing. They're nothing. Well, I'm simply stating that there, as we see uh, Jimmy Jack Hammer had enough of Apollo. And this match could end right now as he's got a full Nelson applied, and uh, I don't see Apollo getting out of this. Well, unless Jimmy Jack Hammer just wants to hurt him. Well, he just kind of threw out the garbage, it looks like. But, uh, Getting back to Bulldozer Manson here real quickly and heavy construction. We're going to be talking, or Dave Yearwood's going to be talking with Jimmy Jack Hammer after this matchup. Uh, they are signed in a tag team match next week, and we understand Bulldozer Manson is not available in Jimmy Jack Hammer. That's what he'll be talking to Mr. Yearwood about as a replacement partner for next week's matchup. Any ideas, deal? Could it be the deal? It could be. No, it couldn't be. 
I'm not a wrestler. I'm not going to get in there. I'm could not going to rough it up. Could it be one of the cannonballers that he might uh, pick as his partner? If he's got the money. If he's got the money, we'll listen to him. Oh, vicious. Over and, and uh, he does not want to get into a fight with Jimmy Jack Hammer. Well, let's be realistic. No, he doesn't want to get into a fight, but let's get back to this Jimmy Jack Hammer situation. He's going to want a winner, so that would obviously point to uh, one of my men. You're looking at Big Otto Bond. I would think that would be a great choice because they were Otto Bond and Von Blitzkrieg recently were the PWI Tag Team Champions, and Von Blitzkrieg is no longer in PWI. Very, very good choice. Very good possibility. Quick Silver, the man who won the match earlier in this show. Yeah, I'd have to say that uh, I'm not sure he would pick Quick Silver. Don't you have Quick Silver currently? Uh, Signed to a series of matches across the country with Lightning Rod. Uh, yeah, but I mean, Quicksilver can hold two titles at once. He's that talented. Yeah, but I don't. You got the PWI rule book. Look it up. You can't do that. Well, anyway, and then he could pick the only man in PWI that's undefeated, Trash Losigan, the man that's never lost a match. Trash Losigan. Trash Losigan's never lost a match. He's undefeated. Have you ever seen him lose a match? I haven't. I see. I've never seen him win a match. No. Oh, look at that. Butterfly suplex. Apollo not faring so well. Uh, I think this new attitude has somewhat hurt him. He's gotten away from his style of wrestling, which is high flying, and he's trying to, to brawl and yeah, be well, vicious. And when to... you're that size, you're not going to be too successful with someone like Jimmy Jack Hammer. And uh, did he submit? He I, submitted. I believe he did. Good, I'm glad. Jimmy Jack Hammer showing his dominance here. Uh, I think Apollo needs to uh, regroup. And the winner, Jimmy Jack Hammer. Oh, Apollo needs to get out of the business. And don't even open your mouth. Let me go to this replay. Look at this. He puts him in the submission hold. Drops it once, drops it twice, drops it three times. Jimmy Jack Hammer ruled this match. Apollo. Do yourself a favor, do everybody a favor, and get out of this sport. Well, wrestling fans, your winner once again, one half of the number one tag team heavy construction, Jimmy Jack Hammer. We want to take this opportunity to tell you about the PWI Worldwide Wrestling Info Line. As you see there on your screen, it's area code 317-335-HOT or 4688. And on Mondays and Fridays, you get the exclusive PWI reports. And on Wednesday... Ah, it's the deal. The only night that really counts. Uh, That's the only night you people need to call is on Wednesday nights. You can hear the deal. I beg your pardon. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, you Kansas get the exclusive Day, world report from the live wire. And on Saturday and Sundays, event news from around the world. That's the PWI Worldwide Wrestling Info Line, where all the news is hot. And now, deal, we go to Dave Yearwood in the ring with the winner of the last particular matchup, Jimmy Jack Hammer. Hey, now, Deal, where, where are Team you going? of heavy construction. I thought Jimmy, Jimmy Jack, Jack Hammer, Hammer and Bulldozer Manson. I thought these guys were friend. Well, the deal has taken off uh, as he heads out. I guess I made him mad about uh, the Wednesday night thing in the hotline. As Jimmy Jack Hammer heads in, well, I don't see Bulldozer Manson. Well, we understand that he has uh, a slight injury, but we thought he would be here for the interview. The deal has uh, became And here he is. One half of the team of heavy construction, Jimmy Jack Hammer. Jimmy, as you know, the team of the James boys are champions again and willing to take on all comers. But the commissioner has said that you need to earn that right and to maintain that, you have to keep moving on over the rest of the PWI tag team contenders here. Heavy construction with a big match Dan, signed next week. Johnny Walker, right? Next week. Well, that is. happens to be right. Next week, you're going to be coming up against that team, and they are one great team, the pride of Tucson, and the most popular wrestler here in the PWI.